Hello, good morning. If you are here, you're watching this right now. Trust me, you are in the right place because you're about to learn the best pattern making method ever. Yes, I'm very sure of that. Okay, so uh, in this uh, class, I will be teaching you how to adapt the armor princess starts from the basic bodies block okay i will not be teaching the basic bodies block in this class but trust me if you already know how to draft the basic pattern this particular tutorial is going to come very handy and it is very clear and self-explanatory trust me you are going to get the perfect fit with this pattern making method because i have I have simplified every single detail, every single process of drafting the pattern. If you have been having issues with um, making a more princess that, you know, that's common problem freehanders usually have about shortage at the armor area. When you guys draft with freehand, you have to do extension and you know too much processes before you can get your I'm a princess that perfectly the whole thing is actually different here because i'm going to be using a very simple and accurate method of pattern making to adapt that style line from the basic bodies block so this is one of the that manipulation method so if you have not done anything about that manipulation before uh this should be you know and high hope now for you because it's quite easy fun and interesting to do okay so if you can you know manipulate your dart from the shoulder transfer it to the ammo you'll be able to do anything about that manipulation at least you have an idea of what it looks like so guys um without wasting any of our time i will just go ahead to my pattern uh making table and start drafting so you're going to see how perfectly the dress will fit because i will show you the process of transferring the pattern to the fabric as well as you know sewing it finishing from scratch to finish we are going to do everything together so let's get started right here is the back of the blouse you can see how perfect it is the front and a closer view there is no contouring and it is perfect so here are the abbreviations used in the video To start drafting the pattern for armor princess start you need to first transfer the basic bodies block onto a new pattern paper and you do that by placing the foundational block on a new one pin them together just like i am doing right here ensure that you know you pin all around the paper so that you know you won't have puff and you know everything get all the lines get transferred completely all right and make sure that it is uprightly placed on the new paper after doing that i went ahead to label the patterns i already showed you the meaning of this abbreviations or the symbols i am you know labeling here it is very important you do that okay then after which you go ahead and trace out the pattern now i am tracing out the much needed part the one i just traced now is the same slanted cb then you know the hip then the side now the armhole part then the neck part then the shoulder after which i went tired to trace the horizontal lines okay the waist the bust and then the across back then the darts okay so if there was a waist that on the back we are going to you know trace it so ensure that you trace out the outer edges before you go ahead to trace the inner edges so as to avoid confusion then i went ahead to you know trace the front there's a side of the front here the hip line the center front you can see i am tracing the outer edges first then the neckline the shoulder line the actual shoulder line then the ammo parts of the front 
do not trace the guidelines they are not really important you can only trace them for reference purpose so if you see me tracing any guideline it's just for reference purpose like the one i just traced now before the actual waistline of the front so the true bust line the bust line the chest line of the front they are very important for you to trace now the that okay so those are the very important lines and they must be completely transferred the shoulder that very important so once you're sure that you've traced everything out you can now remove the pins and separate the paper of uh, the the paper of the foundational block then you highlight the traces out you can see the lines on my paper you're going to see yours clearly done you know uh it's showing here so these are the lines you're going to highlight out with your pencil or your marker pen as a beginner it is advisable you make use of pencil instead of marker pen something that is erasable to avoid errors okay then uh next up are the important rulers you need for pattern making generally okay you need your straight ruler you need at least one straight ruler okay then you need your curve rollers as well this one i'm holding right here it's called ammo curve rather called french curve and then this is hip curve you use it for curving the hip area and uh, this is an alternative for the hip curve so if you do not have the hip curve you can make yourself that then this this right here is used for trouser for crotch area of trouser if you do not have it you can make use of the ammo curve and it can also work as you know serve the function of an armor curve okay then the next one here is a pattern master it serves the function of all of those ones that you can see it has a straight ruler it has curve line it has um l square okay is it l square or l shape anyone okay it can perform the function of all the rulers down there on the paper okay so if you do not have those ones you can make yourself this so probably you're traveling you know you can you know it's easy for you to move around with okay but it cannot serve the specific function of each of them properly because those ones are mainly meant for that but it is an alternative all right so that's that about the rulers next up i went ahead to highlight the lines out as they appear on the paper okay you see your own traces and it is very important that you use curve rulers when you know highlighting the curve lines out you use straight rulers when needed make sure that you're using right ruler for you know the right shape all right the part i'm tracing out here is the actual waistline it's slightly slanted and that's depending on the distance differences between your front waist and your back waist determine whether it will be slanted or straight okay uh if you take the class for the basic block you understand it much better and all the horizontal lines so now that all the lines have been transferred i can go ahead and work on adapting a new design from it okay which in this class will be working with the will be working on the armor princess stats that being said let's get into the real business first you want to connect the waist that to the shoulder that and all the way to the hip line okay then the next thing you are going to place your tape at the shoulder point okay that's the shoulder point all the way to the up of the front and then locate the midpoint between the boots of them then kind of trace it towards the armor curve from that new point come down by one inch and then take your curve roller and connect to the apex of the shoulder that which is also the same point where the boss point is so you have to blend it there to avoid to avoid a pointy bust okay after this we are going to transfer the shoulder that into the armor part so that's how we get our armor princess that line so you slash you can make sure you are using a paper scissors you slash from the armor point to the boss point which is also the end of the shoulder darts then you go ahead and create crease line let's label the dart leg d1 and d2 that's the shoulder dart legs so you create crease line on d1 like i am doing here 
you want to fold d1 on d2 if your that's if your if if the line you slashed from the arm hole is not slashed the uh, end point of the shoulder dart the darts will not transfer perfectly well so make sure that your slash is well done so you fold the one on d2 just like i did here then you go ahead and use your paper gum tape to secure it permanently because you're not going to open that again you've automatically transferred the space uh in between the shoulder the space on the shoulder which serves as the shoulder dart into the armhole so our darts or contouring uh, I can see it's now being done from the arm mold and not from the shoulder again. And that is simply how we get our arm mold princess start. So let's continue. But before I go ahead with that, let's remove the excess that was added on the waist as well as the hip. When drafting the basic bodice block, we usually add extra to the waist and the hip and that's for contouring purpose uh those of you of taking a uh, basic bodice block and contouring block uh classes will understand it better so you have to remove this excess before you proceed with your patterning and that's because we do not we didn't do under bust contouring here so that part is off the measurement okay next up i went ahead to panel the back block okay uh in this particular uh pattern it is not really compulsory that i panel it because you can see that there is absence of the actual waist that for the back here i explained the absence of the back waist that uh in a basic block bodies block class okay but for the purpose of this class i will be doing the paneling and here to start with you need to skip the one inch of the slanted CB okay we're going to be using the bust band half of the bust band here was 3.5 inches you're going to add half inch to that to get the line of the back that line so that's four inches 3.5 plus half that's four I skipped the space of the slanted CB to mark that and then I went ahead to use my ruler to straighten it all the way from the hip line through that point to the bust line so that's the line that will guide us for drafting our uh princess that for the back you can actually connect it to the shoulder if you want and you can decide to make it a more princess that as well which i am going to be doing here so now the connection is going to start a little bit below the bust line towards the across back point make sure that you don't start from the uh that point which i'm just showing you right here don't start from the end of the line there you move it down a little bit and blend your ruler with it so you won't have sharp edges so you connect all the way to the across back point and make sure that it is not too curvy after this i went ahead to label the pattern it is very important to label your pattern should in case you are not the one working with it so that's one two three four we have four, four panels there we have four panels uh then right there is the symbol for the center front which is usually unfold that's just one piece on the side piece side part side front you're going to cut two pieces side back two pieces then the center back you cut two pieces as well of the fabric so that's the side back then um i was going to actually add allowance there uh label the allowances you need but i decided to do it later on so that's the side front i just you know wrote there and then i will go ahead to separate the panels so you number it numbering it is very important for you to do before you separate them so you won't mix them up especially when you have so many panels because sometimes we do have more than four panels we have up to like five six seven eight nine ten until how much panels you can handle so numbering them is very important before you separate them then i went ahead to cut just uh take uh you know at give attention to how i am cutting if you're still new to pattern making so you won't make errors You have to cut on the line 
or i advise you cut behind the lines to have shot it but make sure that you are not giving any distance away from the line while cutting now you can see where i'm cutting my dart line through you follow the dart line the front must have that irrespective even if your back doesn't your front must have that i explained that much better uh while drafting the basic bodies block then the side i already eliminated the excess so we have a perfect pattern there then i will cut off the remaining that's excess that's what we don't need you should ensure that the bust area is well curved there should be no pointy you know edge there then i went ahead to cut the back while doing that you should put a mass or pin the front pattern pieces together the slanted cb remember that our back is not straight so in pattern making we usually uh create a slanted center back except for some design so exceptional cases that won't be there but when you're going to be having zipper you have to do this or if the dress is fitted yeah if there was to be a back waist that i would have followed the back waist line but you know it was just a straight line here for the back shoulder that you pin it off is just the same process we use for the front shoulder that but it's just that there is no slash here so that's to eliminate the data because i don't need it then you know i would just hold it with paper gun tape if it was to be a shoulder princess line we would have you know cut the dart off while cutting the princess line after this i went ahead to label each pattern piece uh, with the allowances that is meant to be added the slanted cb we carry one inch which is the same as the zipper side you can add 1.5 as a beginner neck half shoulder half and then the ham or half now those those lines you're going to join together we also carry half of an inch so you're going to join the dart lines together so that will join the two panels of the back together the m line you can add one or 1.5 inches i'll be doing 1.5 inches here since there is no lining on our dress it's just a sample design side seam will carry one inch as well or you can do 1.5 as a beginner and here i went ahead to draw out my green lines very important part of the important labeling so that the person transferring the patterns to fabric we understand how to position it green line is more uh is, is explained better in our main courses so the front as well the dart lines we carry half of an inch to join the panels together the neck we carry half of an inch the shoulder half then the arm all half the second part of the armor which is the side panel arm all half side seam one then the m line i did one and half the m line allowance is the same all through center front will be cut on fold and you know we have uh four panels in total and on your fabric everything will double except for the front which is cut on fold so i will see you guys in another video please like this video subscribe and turn on notification for the next video